What's up everybody? It's your boy Mimir. Uh, for breakfast I had garlic bread. Uh, that was for... that was leftover from Cacho e Pepe a couple days ago. Um, for lunch I had pasta salad and a banana. And for dinner I had a the mess sandwich at work. Um, speaking of work, while I was at work, there's a bank robbery! <laughs> uh, where I work there's a, um, a bank, and uh, there's totally a robbery there. Um, you know, and apparently the guy escaped and he's like on the run, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, apparently no shots were fired, nobody was hurt. Uh, but yeah, it's a guy who's on the run and uh, he robbed the bank at where I work, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I, I think he may have robbed an ATM or something. I, I'm not entirely sure. There, there was a bank and it was robbed, right? Um, second thing, my contact fell out. Uh, you know, so here I was in, in first period, my office TA period, right? And uh, I was just told about these, tw like, um, I was just told about these, like, 20 passes that I had to hand out, right? And I was like, okay, because something's happening. I don't normally have to hand out that many passes, but something was happening today, and, like, I needed to give out these passes, right? And so, um, you know, I rubbed my eye, and uh, then my vision was all blurry. Um, yeah, it was this eye. Uh, and then my vision was all blurry in my, in my left eye, right? And I was like, oh, that's a little weird. Uh, sometimes when I rub my eye, uh, the contact like goes over here or something and I have to just like move my eye back and forth and it goes back into place, right? And it's totally fine. Um, but, um, and so I thought that was, just, that is what happened, right? And, uh, so I was like, well, I don't really want to bother anyone with this right now. Uh, so I'm just going to hand out these passes. Um, and while I'm handing them out, I could just like move my eyes back and forth and then the contact would just fall back into place. So I was like, all right. And, uh, you know, so here I was in the hall handing out these passes. I was moving my eyes back and forth. I realized, you know, my contact wasn't coming back into my eye. And I was like, that's a little weird. Uh, you know, and then I eventually, you know, came to the conclusion that, um, that uh, the contact had fallen out in the office. And I was like, well, that sucks. So I finished out handing out all the passes, right, with one eye blurry. And, uh, you know, I got back to, got back to the office. And, uh, you know, I sat down and then I pretended to rub my eye and have my contact fall out and I pretended to look for something. And then I was like, oh, my contact fell out. And they're like, oh, that's crazy. And, uh, you know, they helped look for it, um, which, you know, I think was kind of a lost cause because, um, you know, uh, the, uh, it was like five minutes ago, you know, and people, I don't know, the contacts were probably gone by then. Um, but yeah, once, once we had done that, um, I ended up having to text my parents and they ended up bringing my contacts to school, um, I think, they, they ended up bringing a couple pairs of contacts to school, one to just keep in case this happens again. Um, and, you know, they actually ended up having to come like halfway into math, um, which is um, ha halfway into my math period, which is a, which is a little crazy because um, I'll explain why, I'll explain why later. Okay, I'll explain why later. Uh, another thing, more hardware camp for my NAS server. Um, so, you know, I got these hard drives here, which is pretty cool. I got these hard drives. Uh, this is two out of the six 14 terabyte hard drives I'm going to have. Um, I probably shouldn't place it down so nonchalantly. Um, but yeah, check it out. It's these uh, 14 terabyte um, Exos drives. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It'll be really cool. Um, I also got, one second, let me put this back. I also got, um, this, um, SATA, SATA, uh, PCI adapter, um, because the amount of hard drives I'm going to have in the computer, it's, like, two over, uh, what the motherboard can handle without, um, extra, you know, like, with a, uh, like a SATA PCIe card. So this is the SATA PCIe card. Um. Right here is my RAM. I went for non-ECC RAM in my NAS server that's gonna be running true NAS with like um, like RAM caching and SSD caching. Uh, and so, you know, that's not necessarily the best decision, but I'm planning to upgrade to ECC memory soon and um, like in a year or so. And uh, you know, the likelihood of within the next year or so, uh, you know, uh, bit flipping in my RAM and, and ruining my data is rather unlikely. But um, you know, for now I'm going with this and you know when I'm when I end up upgrading to ECC RAM, my computer will have 64 gigabytes of memory, so that'll be nice. Uh, right here is my crucial 500 gig NVMe SSD. Um, I just need an SSD to boot off of, and um, you know honestly, uh, you know I couldn't use any SATA ports because all the SATA ports were used up by the hard drives, right? And so um, you know I ended up just getting this for for booting. Uh, 
uh, TrueNAS doesn't take up 500 gigabytes of storage, but I think just by owning this, like I could probably use this in the future, and I think 500 gigabytes is enough to where it's, it can be useful in certain contexts, and I think I can use this in the future. So that's why I got 500 gigs for like a boot SSD. Um, and then right here is <laughs> is a uh, a optical drive to hard drive adapter, um, like hard drive bay adapter. Um, and the reason why I got this is because um, according to PC Part Picker, um, I couldn't fit all of the hard drives into the case unless I got an adapter to replace um, the optical drive, wh where the optical drive would be with a, with a hard drive sled. And, um, you know, I'm not sure if that's entirely true because the Fractal Des Define series of cases famously is known for having more places to put hard drives than they advertise. Uh, like, for example, the Define 7XL, I believe it was advertised that they could put, like, 12 hard drives in there, they could put in, like, 14, right? Uh, through, like, mounts and everything, like, officially, right? Um, but, you know, I'm not entirely sure if I need this, but it was only $5, and PC Part Picker said I needed it. So, um, you know, I got it. And, uh, yeah. The next thing I want to talk about today uh, is the snow this morning. You know, I woke up at, like, you know, uh, like 5.30 this morning, and, uh, you know, it was totally normal morning until I had walked out, you know, I had walked out of my house, and I looked, and it was snowing, right? And I was like, that's crazy. Um, and, you know, I was able to walk to school and walk to the bus stop in the snow and it was very cold. And it was very nice. Um, you know, I got on the bus in the snow. Nobody was on the bus. Um, and uh, my buddy had actually missed the bus, which sucks um, because he had to take another bus and then he had to walk like a good amount in the ice, in the snow to school. And that's a shame. Um, another thing that happened today was a um, history assignment that we won. Uh, basically, the entire class was split into five groups. Um, and each of them, the context is that um, it was after in like 1943, after um, World War II had just ended, and we we're thinking about like what to do with the Soviet Union because they're ideal ideologically opposed to the United States, right? And there are four options. Uh, one of them is like to promote like American peace across the continent, uh, which is basically to like you know try and push back the satellite states that the Soviet Union had um, had installed, um, and then the second option was like like draw a line and say, like, this is where communism shouldn't spread, which is actually what we ended up doing. Uh, option number three was to, like, compromise with the Soviet Union through the UN, and option four was to just um, be rather isolationist and kind of neutral, sort of like Switzerland, and that's what we're arguing for. And we actually won that debate because, um, you know, it wasn't necessarily the best option. I, I think it's a pretty good option, right? Uh, like, in general. But because we had the best arguments and we spoke the most clearly and uh, we answered the questions the best, and, you know, it really goes to show that optics can be more important than, um, than uh, you know, policy, right? Um, um, you know, another thing to talk about, speaking of optics, um, this EA stuff really sucks, you know? Um, you know, all, the, all this stuff he's talking about, it's really a shame. Um, you know, especially that Alex Jones interview he did, like, like man, that's crazy, the stuff he's saying, and it, that's wild, and it's crazy, it's crazy how much harm he's doing, you know, to, to all those people, you know, it's crazy. It sucks, you know? I don't have much more to say than that. It sucks. But I feel like, I felt like I should say something. And the last thing, this is kind of a bittersweet thing, right? This is kind of bittersweet. Uh, is this, this massive Lynch chocolate advent calendar. And of course, for those of you who don't know, uh, the thing I do uh, in the first 24 days of Christmas on the Leo the P.O. channel is I open up a chocolate and I, um, I basically just eat a different chocolate in my video every single day uh for um uh for what each day is right and i eat the chocolate in my video and uh my parents had gotten me this you know you know very nice um very nice advent calendar you know it's never this nice right and then um you know before i recorded this video i looked at the back and uh it says ingredients this is this is hazelnuts that sucks um, but the thing is, is that only three out of all of these possibilities are the ones that have hazelnuts in them, and it's the, um, milk chocolate icicle, the lint mini, and the, um, uh, um, what is the third thing? Oh, and it's this, um, this, like, chocolate, like, nougat thing. Uh, and so as long as it's not those three, I'm fine, right? Because, you know, 
you know, I'm pretty allergic to nuts where I'd have an allergic reaction if I were to eat them, but not to the point where I would like die if I ate something that was near nuts. So I'm totally fine if it's not, if the first day is not one of those three things, right? And of course, tomorrow we're gonna be getting a, an advent calendar that doesn't have hazelnuts in it, of course. But um, yeah, it sucks. So this is assumedly, I assume very expensive because lint chocolate is very expensive. And um, you know, it sucks because, you know, I didn't check until, um, you know, today because I hadn't bought to check. And uh, you know, it's a shame, but oh well. If it's um, if it's one of the nut ones for the first day, I have a contingency plan, and we're gonna have an advent calendar without hazelnuts tomorrow, and it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. It'll be good. Um, so let's see where number one is. I'm trying to find it. Um, uh, here it is, right here. Okay, we got number one right here. Uh, let's see if it's one of the nut ones. Let's see, right? How does this work? What did I? What? Oh, it's like a puzzle piece. Okay. I don't know. I've never used any other type of advent calendar. This is so strange. How do you? Okay, there it is. This might be one of the nut ones. I'm not sure. What is this? Great! It's the Lint Mini Double Milk Milk Chocolate Balls. That's great. Okay. So, thankfully, this isn't um this isn't the one this isn't one with the nuts. Um. And when I'm done eating these and telling you how they are, I'll show you what my contingency plan was, which is nothing interesting. Um, but there's a second one here. Um, that's really good. Wow. Um, for those of you who have never used an advent calendar, um, I'm going to save this one for later. I'm not going to eat this one on, on video. Um, for those of you who don't know about advent calendars, um, Advent calendar chocolate is never really that good. And, um, you know, it's pretty incredible that, um, that this exists. And even though I can't eat, um, three out of like the, the, like 10 different things that you can have, um, it's great. This chocolate is very high quality, which is unusual for an advent calendar. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. This is my contingency plan. Uh, it's like these chocolate coals. If you ever had a crunch bar, it's basically just this in a coal shape. Um, and they sell them during Christmas time. It's like chocolate coals is one of my favorite candies, right? Um, but yeah, that's my contingency plan if it was a nut one. Luckily, it wasn't a nut one. And, uh, you know, while the tradition is a little different, you know, today, um, you know, that's fine. And in the future, we'll just look if advent calendars have nuts. Um, the reason why my parents haven't checked is because we've never seen an advent calendar with nuts before. Um, but I guess, you know, we've only gotten those, like, super standard, like, cardboard advent calendars. So, so who knows, right? Um, but... Yeah, I'm happy it didn't have nuts, uh, and, you know, I'm pretty sure that's all there is to talk about today. And, uh, you know, now I'm going to figure out what numbering system to put in the, in the corner of uh, this month's thumbnails. Uh, but, yeah. Alright, see ya, dude.